What up everybody? Back again here with another Instructor Beats Geometry lesson. Today we're going to be talking about decomposing shapes. So let's shape up and see what our objective is today. Your objective today. Today I will be able to decompose shapes into smaller shapes. So of course we need to start with our math vocabulary. What do we mean by decompose? Well decompose means to break apart into different sections. So to take something and to break it apart into smaller sections. Let's take a look at an example and see this math vocabulary in action. So here we're going to make some number bonds. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decompose 10. We're going to break it apart into smaller different sections. So I want to think about, okay, how could I break apart 10 into smaller groups? So I'm going to do 9 and 1. Okay, I'm going to circle these. And I can decompose 10 into a group of 9 and a group of 1. All right, I could also do 8 and 2. So I could decompose 10 into one group of 8 and one group of 2. I could decompose it into a group of 7 and 3, right? So I can decompose 10 into those two groups. I could do three groups, okay? I could do 2, 2, and 6, okay? So if I took 10, I could decompose it or I could break it down into smaller sections that when you add them back together equal 10. All right, so that's what decompose means. You've been doing decomposing a lot in your math life. Now let's take it to shapes. All right, so now let's decompose these hexagons into different shapes. Okay, so we're, it's the same thought process, but now we're going to be doing it with shapes. So let's start with this one. If I split this into half right here, I could decompose this into two different trapezoids. So if I drew this underneath, okay, I have one trapezoid. Now, my art is not going to be perfect, but I'll do my best, okay? I had one trapezoid up top, and then I had an upside down trapezoid on the bottom that I can make out of this hexagon, okay? So you can decompose this hexagon into two different trapezoids. If you wanted to decompose it a different way, okay, if I split this into half here, and then I split this top into three equal groups, and the bottom into three equal groups. Now you have to stick with me, okay, because I know it's not perfect, but what I just made was, even though they're not straight, I made six different triangles. So if I decomposed it, I'm not gonna draw six different um, arrows because that would drive me crazy, but I had three triangles on the bottom that were going this way, and I had three triangles on the top that were kind of upside down going this way. And I can decompose that trapezoid into these six different triangles. Okay, see what I did there? Now if I want to do a different way, and again just like the number 10, there's a lot of different ways you can decompose it. I could split it up and I could decompose it into a trapezoid. And then if I drew these lines straight down here, I could actually have a two triangles up top, a rectangle and a trapezoid that make this shape up. So again, I'd have my up, if I decompose it into the different smaller groups, I had my upside down trapezoid, I had my rectangle up top, and then I had my two triangles that made up the side. And I know my artwork isn't perfect, but hopefully you're getting the idea of you can decompose shapes just like you can decompose numbers. All right, you can take one shape and split it up into different smaller shapes. Let's take this idea and look. I do problem. So this question says, if you wanted to decompose this shape into exactly two shapes, what shapes would they be? Now what we're looking to do in here, and we're not just making any shape, we're trying to make shapes that we are familiar with. Triangles, any of the quadrilaterals, hexagons, pentagons, okay, any of those. We don't want to just make any two-dimensional shape. We're looking for shapes that we're familiar with. So what I would do here is I would always try to start a vertex and draw a line first. Try to split it into half and see maybe if you can split it this way, okay? Well, if I split it this way, I've made a quadrilateral, but I don't, that's just a quadrilateral. It's not one of those special quadrilaterals that we've talked about, such as a rhombus, a rectangle, a square, or a trapezoid, right? So I'm not gonna split it up that way. But if I split it going the other way in half from vertice to vertice, I see now that I have a triangle, and even though this is upside down, I see that this is a trapezoid. I can decompose this into the triangle that was on top, 
all right, and the trapezoid that was on the bottom. Now, just because it was flipped upside down doesn't mean it's a not a trapezoid. So here I have a very similar shape. Again, it's not perfect because I'm not perfect, but when I decompose that, I can split this pentagon into a triangle and a trapezoid. So here we have the we do problem. You can do this one in your notes with me. If you don't have your notes, you can check the description of the video and you'll have a link to some guided notes there that you can do on Google Docs or print out and fill out. But it says if you wanted to decompose a parallelogram into exactly three shapes, what shapes could they be? So the first thing I wanna do, even though it's not a word problem, I always like to identify my important information. I'm looking for three shapes and what shapes could they be? Okay, I wanna decompose. There's my vocabulary word again. And again, you're trying to make shapes that we've talked about throughout our lessons, shapes that we're familiar with. So I always start with the vertices first, just to kind of see, okay, what we could do. And if I go from this vertice and then go straight down, I see I've made a triangle. If I go from this vertice and go straight up, I see I made another triangle, but more than that, I also have made a rectangle. So I just made three shapes that I'm familiar with, and now I can decompose this parallelogram into smaller shapes. I have my two triangles, and even though they're not look they don't look exactly like this, I can flip these triangles around and they'd be right triangles because they have a square corner. And then I also had my rectangle from the middle of it. And again, it might not be perfect what I'm drawing out of here, but I'm just trying to show you that you can decompose this and break it apart into these smaller groups. So here I want you to do this U try. Okay, so this U try says connect the stars by drawing a straight line. What two shapes did you form? So if you decompose this rectangle by putting a straight line from the star to the other star, from vertice to vertice, you're going to see two shapes. What shapes were those? Go ahead and pause the video, try it out on your notes, and then push play, and you can check your work with me. So again, the first thing I want to do is I'm looking for two shapes, okay? So I want to identify important information, even when it's not a word problem. And then I want to split this rectangle part going from the star to the star, and when I do that, I see that I have made two triangles. So the two shapes I formed were triangles. That is the answer to my question. Now, even though this is just a simple question where you're decomposing it, this concept of two triangles making a rectangle is going to be so important in your math life later. So remember this, and when it is, I want you to come back and I want you to leave a comment on this video and say, Mr. Instructor Beats Guy, you were right. So what we worked on today, we worked on taking shapes that we know and decomposing them, breaking them apart into smaller shapes that if we put back together could make that same shape. That's what we were working on today. So hopefully you did a great job with that. You met your objective. As always, thank you so much for checking us out. Please like and subscribe. We'd love to have you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Again, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Instruct the Beats, out.